You know who won't shut up when I want quiet? Josh. And Rand. That was kind of a mean intro. <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's their ending going to be, man? And I'm sorry. I like it when you talk. I, Unless I want quiet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just find an ending. Yeah. Rand is so pretty. Aww. The guest becomes utterly enraptured in how beautiful Randall yeah. is. Which happens most episodes, anyway. Uh, it really does. Yeah. I mean, we need we need like s- more audience members out there. That way, I don't just stare into your eyes all the whole time. Someday. Um, fishing. Fishing. Let's talk about this. You know, have you ever been fishing? Yes. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of hard to grow up in the Pacific Northwest without going fishing at least once. They got fish there. Oh yeah. Really. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? All this forest and woodland and rivers. Who knew? It's like there's no place for the fish to live. I know. Um, yeah, no, I've been fishing a lot. My grandfather used to take us fishing. My dad used to go, you know, go with us as well. And and uh, I remember one of my vivid memories of fishing is how you knock out the fish when you catch it. Because I was small still. When the most times I've, in fact, it's been a long time since I've been fishing. Yeah. But um, I remember, you know, they used to say, you know, you, you got to knock out the fish so it doesn't just sit there and, and suffer. And they would flick it in the head. Like, they were they were burly men. So they just flick it in the head and it would knock out. When most men had to, like, you know, really, really pound it. So I have very burly, a burly side of my family. My mom's side of the family is, like, country, country boys. Yes. Yeah. Woodland yeah. men. From the coast. <laughs> Indeed. Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. So I, I've i I've not done a lot of fishing in my lifetime, oh. and my experiences have been sorted at best. Okay. Um, I, I vividly remember uh, being on my uncle's boat, and we had a, a line out the back, and he has a nice large boat, and we were out somewhere in the, the Atlantic Ocean. And I remember we got a tug on the line, so we're like, oh, we got a fish. We did not have a fish. We pulled up the line, and what popped out was this like little blue crab. And I was probably seven, eight, I don't know. And I was the manliest of seven or eight-year-olds. Because I began screaming <sighs> uncontrollably. <laughs> and I jumped up on, on everything and everyone. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't get fat far enough away from that crab. I mean, it had to be like... Maybe seven inches, like in diameter, mm-hmm. but I just I, I want nothing to do with that crab. You know, um, my the burly side of my family lives on the coast of mm-hmm. Oregon, and I've been crabbing a few times. Oh, really? Kept going out to Tillamook Bay, and and uh, you drop down the traps to catch them. You put you have like this crabbing net, and you you attach a fish to it. And the proper way to do it isn't just to wire the fish onto it. You got to go through the fish, through like, the, and you go through the eyeballs because they're on opposite sides of the skull. So you can just go through the eyeballs. And because if you don't put it down, yeah, then when you when you drop the uh, when, when you drop the trap into the bay, yeah, there's a risk of it kind of shifting. Out, you know, you might you might lose the fish somehow. Sure. Or when you tr- go to pull it up, you know. Anyway, there, there are reasons you do it that way. Um, but I remember. You know, you ca- you catch dozens of crabs in one go. Wow! You just have to wait. You just have to measure them to make sure if a they, they have to be male, and b they have to be a certain width from like from the, the one side of the crest to the other of their shoulders. I guess it is. Um, and I've been pinched a few times, and getting pinched by a crab really does hurt. I'm glad to know that my screaming was not entirely unjustified. So it was justified. That's okay. where, that's kind of where I'm going with that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you, you've you've made me feel <laughs> slightly more less like a girl. I also remember. <laughs> I also remember clamming because I've been clamming as well Re- in the bay. How do you how do you catch clams? I'll tell you. You go. You go. Well, at least if you're going to catch wild clams, because okay. I'm sure they have clam farms or whatever. Invariably. Um, you go and, and you got to find their ventilation hole in the sand. It's just this tiny hole and it'll be bubbling. Yeah. And you. 
the, the way that my grandfather the grandfather taught me how to do it um, you you just basically you, you kind of make it your hand into a spear you just reach down into that hole and it's usually about elbow or more deep and you just grab the clam and rip it up wow I remember one time I tried it and you know you, you have good success doing it you know I, I did it successfully several times but one time I had a failure where I w- re- reached down and I barely got like the slimy part you know, just with the tip of my finger. So I pulled up. It's coming with me, but I'd kind of try to go down and get the shell. And I pulled out like a foot of like clam inside. Like it was still alive and everything, but apparently they can extend themselves. Whoa. Plus pull it, and you know, my uncle went in there and, and pulled it out. And it, it, it was like, it was like a clam shell with like this giant tongue sticking out by the time we were done with it. <sighs> So I, that's what I think of now when I think of clams is I think of like this big clam show with the you know thing sticking out. So that's wild. Yeah, I, I mean, just it's just so interesting. How do you how do you have so many unique stories? Well, you know, you go out and do stuff. You try to live life. I mean, and and you grow such such a nice beard. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. I do, you know. I Carmen likes it, so I grow it. Mm-hmm. Plus, I do too. I think it looks good. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this ending always makes me feel so, feel so like I'm a little into myself. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, we are on Facebook and Twitter, and Path. If you're on Path, we have a page there. Um, I don't think a lot of people are on it, but it seems cool and maybe with potential. Go check us out on various social medias. It's usually slash rampant comedy. Go there and check us out. Have a good one, guys.